Six apple take one. Working out some anger there. Obesity affects about a billion and a quarter people worldwide. What we discovered in the lab was that those people with a predisposition to move a great deal throughout the day remain lean. So obesity is a condition, at least in part, associated with low amounts of movement throughout the day. At home, I was living lethal sitting. I'd get home at six, I'd totally stressed out, sink into the sofa, remote control, beer. The focus of my attention was The Simpsons and Seinfeld. My wife said, Jim, you're gaining weight. That wasn't quite how she put it. You need to get to the gym. I hate going to the gym, always have. I hate changing, I hate like Chris Bandex. I don't like that stuff. It's not my scene. I respect people who do. I thought to myself, well, look, people with obesity tend to be seated two and a quarter hours a day more than people who are lean. How on earth can I personally inject two and a quarter hours a day more activity? I know, treadmill plus desk equals two and a quarter hours a day. And so the idea was born. I lost so much weight, but really what changed was I came alive as a person and realized there were all these things I wanted to do with my body that I wasn't doing. And if I could get out of my chair, I would actually do them. Sitting too much is associated not just with obesity, but with diabetes, high blood pressure, predisposition to breast cancer, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, bad cholesterol, and depression. Obviously, the solution to sitting down for too long is to get up for much longer. The complexity is we can't even remember a generation of people who used to work on their legs all day, which is actually how the human body is designed. We live our lives on our bottoms. I oversee a, a large laboratory at Mayo Clinic. We work in more than 70 different US corporations, helping people develop solutions for their companies to get up and move more throughout their day. What's really powerful is that people who engage in these Move Whilst You Work programs not only are healthier, have lower risk of diabetes, hypertension, and so on, but are more productive. So companies that get moving get more profitable. There is a deep desire to ultimately live life in a healthy way. And living healthily isn't about cholesterol and glucose. Living healthily is about having good interactions with our loved ones. Being healthy is, is living life to its, its, its fullest vitality.